This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Ari! Do we get like a, a CG cutscene? I turned around to look at everyone else, but nobody was there. Where did everybody go? They probably got lost among all these people. Finally, I spotted the back of Mion's head on the other side of the crowd. No, it's gonna be Shion! <laughs> it definitely doesn't look like I can get over there. Well, we got separated. No big deal. We can just meet back up when Rika's dance is over. I gave up on finding the others and wandered around, trying to look for a place where I'd be able to see better. Oh, is this gonna be like, I couldn't, I wasn't with them, so maybe they killed the people. It didn't take long for me to realize I'd have to settle for watching between the heads of the people in front of me, though. Thump. Once again, an even louder taiko drum resounded. This one was to announce the beginning of the dance. I couldn't see very well, but it seemed like Rika had come on stage with the elders, who were in priestly garb. I heard low exultations of admiration and the seniors rubbing their prayer beads in gratitude. Everyone's heads were in the way, and I couldn't see. It was really frustrating. We should have cut playtime short and come here to get the good spots earlier. After Rika intoned the prayers, she took the festival hoe and walked to the piles of quilts stacked on the altar. That's right. The point of the ceremony was to purify bedding and to hold a memorial service, wasn't it? Then, the solemn offertory dance began. She had to practice using a mochi-pounding mallet. The awkwardly shaped festival hoe Rika-chan held seemed really heavy. Back and forth, up and down. It was doubtlessly difficult to even lift in the air, but she sweated and waved and raised and dropped it again and again. She couldn't just deal with it and do it grudgingly. As the Shrine Maiden, she needed to retain the dignity and solemn solemnity present at the festival. There must be a ton of pressure on Rika's shoulders right now. Damn! Why am I cheering her on from a place I can barely see her? I'm her friend, so I should be right up in the best spot rooting for her. Someone tugged lightly on the back of my shirt collar. It was Shion. She beckoned me outside the crowded arena of people. She had a mischievous grin on her face, and I took it as her saying she knew a good place nobody else knew of. <laughs> hey, wanna kill someone? After she told me, uh, she ran in a big detour around the throne. Man, it's great to have somebody who knows the lay of the land here at times like this. Impressed though I was, I nearly lost sight of her right away. No more getting separated from me. I ran after her so I wouldn't be left behind. As I wandered in anticipation of what kind of a secret spot Shion had in mind, we left the crowd of people and went around to the back of the shrine grounds. Oi, oi, where are you going? This is going to go Let's skip the bag, like, Rika, and let's just make out over here. Shion gave me a wink that reminded me of Mion as she said that. No sign of people, and not much moonlight. It was dark. We'd gotten pretty far away from the crowd of people on the shrine grounds. How are we supposed to see Rika's dance from here? なんで屋根に登らなくちゃいけないんです。だってそうじゃなかったらどうやってリカちゃんの演舞を見るんだよ。リカちゃんの演舞なんか見たかったんですか？いや。けいちゃん、ひょっとしてストライクゾーン、
peered intently into the dark at Shion's suggestion. Oh, it's Tomatake and Takano. The two of them were clearly breathing quietly and glancing around to make sure nobody knew where they were, as they crouched before the entrance to a wooden storehouse-like building. Oh, wait! They're going to break into the place to find the evidence. That's what's going on. Ooh, maybe they did that in the first chapter, and that's why they got targeted, because they're like, they're finding the evidence. We can't have that. She's like, you already saw it in chapter one. You want something different. I thought that the Sonozaki sisters each had their own personalities, but at times like this, they seemed all too similar. If I'm right on that, then yes, that notebook was Takano's. As our, no at our noisy argument, Takano suddenly turned around. We held our breaths and tried to wait it out, but it seemed like Takano was now acutely aware of our presence. Shion and I exchanged glances and then gave up and climbed out from behind the bush. <laughs> oh, the moon is lovely tonight. <laughs> Uh, no. I was, I was kind of shipping Keiichi and Shion earlier. Not anymore. N not anymore. You're the ones who meet, were meeting up secretly. Then again, maybe Keiichi and Shion are actually fine. Tomotake-san and Takano laughed to themselves, and it got on my nerves for some reason. Tomotake-san <laughs> <laughs> Shion was actually trying to stop them from doing something <laughs> like making out uh, before marriage. <laughs> I don't really get into shipping things. Having said that, if I had to like pair Keiichi with one of the girls, probably Rena. At least if she's not a psycho. Because they seem to get along very well. I knew it! I knew it! They were kind of going to break open the padlock. Huh? After she said that, I looked at the two of them again. And I definitely saw it. They were hunched in front of the warehouse door, fiddling with a pretty heavy-looking padlock. That's that's a ship I can get behind. Yes, I don't I don't like shipping real life people together unless they're actually already together. I demanded unthinkingly, just because of how absently Tomotake was grinning. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, Shaggy's playing Resident Evil. <laughs> How fun. <laughs> we just wanted to look. We're going to have to keep this a secret, and then when we return and our other friends are going to be like, Keiichi, where were you? Why did you not watch Rika's dance? Shion's going to be like, we were making out. And then Keiichi's going to be too flustered to say otherwise. They're going to be like, I can't believe Keiichi ditched Rika to make out with Shion. This is the worst. He's such a perv. <laughs> Based on my experience with visual novels and anime, this that's what's definitely going to happen. Forbidden Storehouse. I took a few steps back at that and looked on the entire warehouse. It certainly looked like one, built removed from any signs of people, almost as if in secret. It was fil filthy, revealing how little it was ever opened. And it was built to be durable, giving a strange, overpowering impression. Now that I looked at it more closely, it was certainly different than normal warehouses. Yeah, 
<笑>あ、ほら、ウィマイケットフレームフォーディスアクチュアリー。リカちゃんが奉納演武で使っている最重用のクアも今日までこの中にしまわれていたものよ。Is Shouldn't we absolutely not be coming to a place like this then? However, Tagano was wearing a childlike expression, an innocent smile at best, and a terribly cruel grin at worst. How does Takano have this much free time if she's like the only nurse in town? A chance. Everybody's eyes were fixed on the dance at the shrine grounds today. This was the ultimate blind spot. My girlfriend's making me do this. でも高野さん、こういうのはこれっきりにしてくれよ。こういうところに黙って入り込むのはやっぱり気が引けるよ。やっぱり次郎さんはいい人ね。Tomatake <笑><笑> undid the padlock and placed it to the side. Aitayo. Now your fingerprints are on it, bro. ありがとう。いよいよね。Takano gulped. With an unusually excited air about her, she gave a heavy door a shove. Uh -oh. <laughs> the, the sharp smell of mold and dust flowed out from the gap in the doors. I had claimed curses didn't exist, but in this situation I could believe in them. If we went into such a holy place of our shoes on, it feels like we could be punished somehow. No. Now that's somebody who knows the Book of Exodus. <laughs> no, we're not. We just stood here. <laughs> What's inside? Just a pack of Twinkies. <laughs> Rika left them there. <laughs> okay, Shion, respect my personal space, please. Shion said that predictably, linking her arm in with mine. ま、ますかってに入っちゃまずいよ。私は一応その先の人間ですから、この中にあるものはおおよそ想像がつく。ファイナルキドナピングビクタムズ。でも、それはケイちゃんにも見てもらいたいものです。俺に見てもらいたい
You got it. Shion gave me another Mion like wink. FBI, open up! Tomotake waved his hand to see us off. The inside was pitch black, but Takano turned on the battery powered lantern she'd brought, revealing a pretty cramped front room. Takano smiled spitefully, as if leaving Tomotake out of something fun, and began to close the door. Have fun committing desecration on the ancient Indian burial ground. There was a low, heavy, and loud noise, and we were completely cut off from the outside world, and covered in silent darkness. Takano's lantern was the only light we had. I don't trust Takano. I also don't trust Shion. Looks like Takano noticed my uneasy expression. I couldn't help but blush a little and avert my gaze. Deeper inside, there was a heavy and old but sturdy door with solemn decorations on it. It was the last door sealing away what was within. Mm. What could they possibly have that's this big of a secret? It's got to be the cranberry bread recipe. Takano explained this, awfully impressed by the construction. But still, it's really dark in here. Huh? That over there, it's... I spotted a circuit breaker hanging from a clump of wiring clumsily attached to the wall. I flipped the biggest switch I can find, and with a click, the pitch black room was illuminated by the old bare light bulb. I thought you were just going to turn off all power in Hinamizawa. <laughs> Everyone scrunched up their faces at the sudden strobe-like brightness. Before she even finished, Shion slapped my hand and flipped the switch back. There was another loud click, and the room returned to darkness, with only the lantern for illumination. Uh oh. Somebody's a little angry. How dare you? <laughs> there are no windows here. I'm scolded by Shion fairly harshly. It looked like she was worried about whether someone had seen them from the momentary light. Takano remained a relaxed adult. It seemed like she was confident she could walk her way out of it if someone did, or talk her way out of it if someone did see us. The even heavier door opened, and this time it wasn't just the dust that came out with the air. There was also a nasty smell. One smell was like opening a dust-filled cupboard in the back of the kitchen that hadn't been opened in years. And the other smell, the nasty one, was hard to explain, but it was like the raw odor of a fish market. Is there a dead body in there? From how the sound echoed, this room felt far larger than the first. Takano held up her lantern and revealed the contents of the expansive room. <gasps> As the back wall of the storehouse right in front of us, uh, there was a Buddha-like uh, holy object there, standing there, looking down at us. I was taken aback by its unseen force, lit up by the slender beam of the lantern. That's Oyashiro-sama, but like right next to you? Huh, looks like Palpatine. Oyashiro-sama. So this is the spirit protecting Hinamizawa. The one guarding the holy land of Hinamizawa from the impurities of the outside world, and the one delivering punishment after punishment upon those who attempted to sully the land of the dam construction. That's a lot of tools on the wall that could definitely be used for murder slash torture. No, I can't kill people with those. <laughs> like, literally, what do we got? We got, like, a giant saw. We've got an axe. We've got pliers with spikes on them. Yeah, very normal. We got a pitchfork. We got all sorts of junk in the, there. We got a sledgehammer. We have a restraining uh, device and a, <laughs> a grindstone and a coffin. Wow. 
The restraining table is definitely the most frightening thing in that room. Even in the dim light, I could see a lot of strange objects lining the walls, ceiling, and shelves. Takano, speaking as if in a trance, was infatuated by the various implements filling the dark room. They weren't very festival-like, or traditional, but instead, this was more like the workshop of a blacksmith or a carpenter. There were a lot of large wooden and metal tools packed in here. Putting it bluntly, it was all pretty boring stuff. I'd imagine there would be more artistic things in here from the Heian period, but... These are a far cry from being cultural artifacts. Uh, you don't even notice the, the table of all the straps that can restrain you? That's a pretty creepy thing. My expression betrayed my dashed hopes, and they caught on right away. Not really. <laughs> she's, she looks so disappointed. She's like, oh, she's smiling in the main art style, though. That's so weird. Why is she smiling in the OG art style, but then she has this disapproving, like... How dare you in the others? Also, wait, what the heck? Okay, she's wearing a completely different... <laughs> well, when we released this on PlayStation, we decided, you know what Takano needs? She needs a lower-cut dress that shows off some cleavage. That's what we need in the remake. like, mm, 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 no. No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, there are also cages up there. That's that's fun. And a stepladder. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Takano reached into a paper bag that she'd been holding the whole time, took out a worn scrapbook, and began to flip through it. I don't want to hear more of your stories. Telling stories in such a dark, creepy place. She must have a horror story in mind. Shion's face belied nothing but calm. If she had the same personality as Mion, she'd have found fault with me being scared. I'll endure it for now and pretend to be calm. Yeah. Yeah. 